Hello, my name is Zach Brown. I'm a SolidWorks support tech with Go Engineer. Today I'm going to show you how to add annotations to your notes in SolidWorks. You can do this easily by just selecting an annotation while you're typing in your note. Like the one I have here, I'm going to recreate this. I'm just going to actually delete a little bit of it and start typing, securing part number. All you have to do is select an annotation. In this situation, I'm going to select this balloon number three, referring to the bolt that I'm going to add Loctite to. I click enter, drop another line, and type in to part number. Then I'm going to select the balloon for the plate we're securing part number three to. Add it to the note, and it's that easy. Just going to click OK. Like I said before, you can add any other annotation, not just balloons. So if you have dimensions, weld symbols, geometric tolerancing, whatever, you can add those to your notes. So now I'm going to show you the cool thing about this is if you make a change to this balloon, let's say I'm going to change this to part number four you can see that it gets updated in your note. So these balloons were made just using text. Now if they had item number and it was using a build of materials list to populate that number in the balloon, when your build of materials got updated, your balloons would get updated and then this note would get updated as well. So whatever happens to the annotations that are in your notes propagates back to the note. Got another illustration I'm going to show you. This one's going to be using dimensions here. So I have these four slots. And this note right here is actually a whole call out. And that's what you would use to get a length times width on a slot. We're actually going to recreate that using dimensions this time just for illustration purposes. Just like we did before, I'm going to create a note. It's going to point to this slot here and then all I have to do is select the dimension got the width dimension here type in space X space and then select my length dimension and there you go just hit escape and now I have a note that is linked back to dimensions on my drawing and let's say you don't want these dimensions to be shown you can just hide those so I'm just going to control select these two, right click and choose hide from the menu. So now your dimensions are hidden. That doesn't break the link between the note and the dimensions. And your dimensions are still driven by the part. Those are just reference dimensions placed on the drawing. So if you go back into the part and update the slot size, maybe make it longer, it's going to update those dimensions that were hidden and in turn update your note as well. Again, this is Zach Brown with Go Engineer. Thank you for watching.